there is a hidden motive behind shooting this video on covering and partition of sets as there are problems which you may confuse in solving i want to correct in the beginning before you go deep into it and let's get into today's video on covering and partitions and this is related to relations chapter and this is related to mfcs dms and dmgt and see here let's crack the confusion and move on with a clear clarity on covering and partition so what is this covering and partition of a set let s be the given set so s be the main set and a are the partitions that is a1 a2 a3 and so on am where each ai where i is equal to 1 2 3 and so on m are the subsets of s see here there is a definition for covering and there is a definition for partition so these two statements are common for both covering and partition so there are two conditions which should hold for covering and there are three conditions which should hold for partition here the thing is among any two subsets there need not be disjoint so there can be a common elements and the second point here is their union so a1 a2 a3 and so on so the union among these subsets should be the main set then we say that this a is a covering of this main set s and see coming to the partition the first thing is ai does not contain an empty set so no subset is empty there should contain minimum elements and next one is there should be a disjoint sets so there shouldn't be any common elements between these two and the third condition is if you make a an union though we should get the main set s then we say that a is called the partition of s see here the common element between these two covering and the partition is if you make a union among all these subsets we are going to get the main set so here additionally so this should be disjoint there should not be any common element here there can be a common element here and here the first point here is no subset should be an empty set see here no subset should be an empty set it should be disjoint and all the the union of all the subset should be the main set then we say that a is a partition coming to this so there is no need of disjoint sets if you make a union so it should get the main set then we say that a is the covering of s so clear so have you cracked the confusion here so let's get started with the example on covering of a set see here let s a b c so this is the main set and consider the following subsets of s the first thing here is b1 so this is b1 so what is this b1 b1 is equal to so if you consider this as a1 and this as a2 so what is a1 here a1 is a comma b a2 is equal to b comma c see here if you see they are common elements b is a common element so no issue for covering and next one if you make a union among a1 and a2 so what is the union among these two sets a b c so this is nothing but the main set s so this is nothing but the main set s therefore a union a1 union a2 is equal to s and therefore we say that a1 and a2 are the coverings of s clear they are the coverings of s clear and the next one here is b2 this is the subset so construct this as a1 and this as a2 so this is a1 and this is a2 there can be common elements for covering there can be common elements if you make a an union see here this is a b a and c so whereas in s we have a comma b comma c so what is missing here b element is missing therefore a a1 a2 so these are the subsets a1 and a2 are not the covering of s since b1 element is missing therefore b2 is not the covering of the main set s and next one see here coming to b3 so if you take b3 here there are two subsets here first one name it as a1 and this is a2 clear so a1 is equal to a and a2 is equal to b comma c so there can be common elements and here the second condition here is a1 union a2 so if you make an union we are getting a b c so which is nothing but the main set s therefore if it covers the main set when then we say that a1 a2 are the coverings of 
s so this is also satisfied a next one coming to b4 so this is a single subset so this is the single subset name it as a1 and clearly it is the main set s therefore a1 is a covering of s clear and next one coming to this b5 so this is b5 a b c singleton set a b and c so name it as a1 so this is a2 and this is a3 a1 a2 and a3 so there can be common elements so the second condition is if you make a union among all these sets this is a comma b comma c which is nothing but the main set s so therefore after making a union we got the main set s therefore a1 a2 a3 are the coverings of s and next one b6 if you see this is single set ten set a a1 so this is a2 and this is a3 there can be common elements among the subsets first condition and the next thing here is if you make a union among all these sets what will be the union a comma b comma c so this is nothing but the main set s and therefore we say that a1 a2 a3 are the coverings of s so this is how we have to check the covering of s so we have to pull out all the subsets and we have to neglect if they if they are having any common elements or not next we have to check the union if you make a union if you are getting the main set s then we say that all these subsets covered the main set s so this is how we have to say and among all these subsets b1 b3 b4 b5 and b6 are the coverings of s but b2 is not a covering since their union is not s and this is how we have to check the covering of any any element any element so here see here there can be common elements and if you make a union we should get the main set then we see that all these a1 a2 a3 and so on a n are the coverings of the main set s so coming to the partition and let me give you an example for the partition set so here for the partition so here the main set is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 comma 6 consider the following collections of subsets here the three conditions are so no element should be empty so no subset should be empty the second condition here is there should be a disjoint sets so the intersection point should be empty there shouldn't be any common elements between a1 and a2 or among ai aj so here the third condition is if you make a union for all the subsets we should get the main set s so if all the three conditions holds we say that the given subsets the given subsets are the partition of the main set s see here if you see the what is the main set here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here what is s1 s1 is equal to 1 4 5 2 3 comma 6 so name it as a1 this is a2 and this is a3 first thing here is no subset is empty clear no subset is empty satisfied next one if you make a intersection among a1 a2 so what is a1 a2 intersection empty set and next one if you make a2 a3 intersection this is 2 3 5 no common elements intersection 5 and next one among a3 a1 empty so this is also satisfied the second property is also satisfied the that the subsets are disjoint and next one if you make a union among a1 a2 and a3 so we'll be getting this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we are getting the main set s1 and therefore s1 holds all the three conditions and therefore a1 a2 a3 are the partitions of s1 clear so if it holds all the three conditions the three properties one is none of the subset should be empty and the next one is among any two sets there should be disjoint sets and if you make an union among all the subsets we, we should be getting the main set s if all the three conditions holds we see that a1 a2 a3 are the partitions of s and see coming to this one s2 so here this is an empty set 1 comma 2 3 4 5 6 so this one a1 is an empty set so here the condition does not hold the first condition is failed and therefore a1 a2 a3 are not the partitions of s2 and next one this is the third example that is 1 2 3 4 and this is 4 5 6 so name it as a1 and name it as a2 so here 
no subset is empty the first condition is satisfied so make a intersection so if the second condition is a1 intersection a2 so among a1 intersection a2 the 4 is the common element so here the second property doesn't hold as there should be a disjoint sets therefore a1 a2 a3 are not the partitions of s3 and next one coming to the fourth case s4 that is they name it as 1 comma 2 as a1 and this one is so this one is a1 and this one is a2 see here this is not empty this is not empty the first condition is satisfied and if you make an intersection so that is also satisfied and next one if you make a union see here this is 1 2 3 is missing 4 5 6 so this doesn't form the complete set of the main set and therefore the element 3 is missing and therefore a1 a2 a3 are not the partitions so this is how we have to check all the three conditions in the first case all the three conditions holds that is none of the subset is empty so any two sets are disjoint and if you make a union so we are getting the main set s and therefore this is the partition and in this case the first set is empty and therefore there is no partition for S and in this case, see here the intersection, The co there has a common element 4 as a uh, common element among these two intersection uh, subsets and therefore this is not a partition and here if you see, if you make a union here, so 3 is missing, therefore these subsets are not the partitions. So if any of one uh, condition is failed, we say that that is not the partition and in this case all the three properties holds and therefore we say that this is the partition. So for the partition there are three properties or three conditions and whereas for the covering there is only one condition that is if you make a union if the main set comes down then we say that all these subsets are the covering. So the covering and partition I made a clear clarity I have given you the difference also and if you um, understand so it will be better and pass it on to your friends and see here i'm going to wind this video up for you now and if you really like this video you know what to do please leave a comment down and pass it on to your friends and please share it with your friends and siblings and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and thank you so much